We're facing some uncertain times. The world around us is in a panic. We are afraid. There seems to be a storm raging all around us. Of course, history has experienced things like this. There have been terrible things that have happened in the past. And the Christian faith and Christians have persevered through these things because they have a great hope. This past Sunday in church, we sang a hymn that expresses this great hope that we have. I want to share it with you. Verse 2 of Jesus' priceless treasure. In thine arms I rest me. Foes who would molest me cannot reach me here. Though the earth be shaking, every heart be quaking, Jesus calms my fear. Fires may flash and thunder crash, Yea, and sin and hell assail me, Jesus will not fail me. Fires may flash and thunder crash. Storms raging all around us. There was a time when Jesus' disciples were facing a terrible storm. They were in a boat out in the middle of the sea. Jesus was asleep on the boat. The disciples were terrified. So they went and they awoke Jesus. They went to him and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to die. He woke up, rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and they stopped. Then it was calm. Jesus has the power to calm even the raging weather. Jesus has the power to calm all the storms that we face in our lives as well. He has this ability because he came into our world where we have not lived in the way that we should, He lived a righteous, holy, perfect life. And He did so for us, so that righteousness could be shared with us. All of our sins, all of our things that should separate us from God, well, Jesus separated them from us when He willingly went to the cross and He paid for them all in full. He redeemed us. And then on Easter morning, we have the greatest assurance and comfort of all. He calms us as we look into that open and empty tomb, and He's not there, He's risen. Jesus has defeated sin and death. And if He has done all of these things, and He promises and assures us that our sins are forgiven, that we have peace with God, that heaven is our home, well, then we have comfort. We have assurance. We have peace. Yea, and sin and hell assail me, Jesus will not fail me. Even though we face these uncertain times, we as God's people have tremendous comfort and peace. We pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with us. Grant us your comfort and peace in these uncertain and trying times. Amen. Peace devotions exist to offer comfort and peace during uncertain times. We encourage you to share these devotions with those in your life who are worried or anxious and need to hear reassurance of God's love and forgiveness. These devotions are produced by the Evangelical Lutheran Synod and are made possible through donations from individuals and churches. If you'd like to help our ministry financially, visit els.org donate.